What's going on everyone, I'm Neo Watto, and in this video, we're gonna be discussing the upcoming Raptor R. This is the latest F-150 pickup from Ford, and it's really gonna shake things up in the industry. So let's take a look at all the leaks and information we know about the truck, and how exactly we got to this point. When Ford first released the F-150 Raptor in 2009, it created an entirely new segment, the high-performance off-road pickup truck. This new truck was a smash hit, and it sold extremely well. At that time, the standard engine was a 5.4 liter V8, but there was an optional package called the Raptor R, and it came with a 6.2 liter V8. Now obviously, the 6.2 liter V8 was the more desirable engine. So when Ford released the second generation Raptor for 2017, everyone was expecting a V8 option. However, Ford had different plans. Instead, they went with an EcoBoost V6 as the only engine option. It is the best Raptor ever with an all new high output EcoBoost engine. Now, although this engine made more power than the outgoing V8, people still wanted the V8 option. Now, as you already know by the title of this video, Ford is finally going to release a V8 option for the Raptor. But why did it take so long? We want a V8! No. We want a V8! No. We want a V8! No! One eternity later. We want a V8! Wait just a minute. That's right. Ram saw this as an opportunity to steal customers from Ford and came out with the TRX. It makes over 700 horsepower and has that oh-so-coveted V8 engine. You see, the brands under Stellantis, they're not afraid to give people what they want. Liking that Hellcat? Well, here's a four-door family sedan with over 700 horsepower. Need more room? No problem. Here's a Durango with over 700 horsepower. Need to tow things? Well, here's a TRX with over 700 horsepower. Oh, you want a van? Well, here's a Pacifica with over 700... You get the idea. Ram even went so far as to directly poke fun at the Raptor by etching in depictions of a T-Rex with a little Raptor in its mouth. Needless to say, Ford was not too fond of this. Their F-Series pickups have been the best selling for 43 years. They weren't gonna let Ram get away with making a mockery of its prized truck. So along comes February. Ford reveals the next generation F-150 Raptor. And what's this? Oh, okay, now you're bringing back the V8, the Raptor R. Isn't that interesting? So from what it looks like, it would seem that Ford was pretty much forced to release the Raptor R. Otherwise, the Raptor's reputation would be forever tarnished. Now for the longest time, we didn't have confirmation on what would power the Raptor R. But thanks to new leaks, we now know it will have a supercharged V8. This is the same engine that's found in the Shelby GT500. If we look at this leaked image from Raptor Connection, we can see that clearly somebody is removing tape from the top of the supercharger, revealing Raptor. This is incredible, and it leads me to wonder if this leak was done on purpose. I mean, it's almost too perfect. This engine will be a great performer paired with the Raptor, and it's just what Ford needs to compete with the Ram TRX. As if this wasn't enough of a confirmation, leaked images of window stickers have also surfaced. And I'm not just talking about one sticker, we have multiple window stickers. Right at the top, we can see the engine is in fact a 5.2 liter supercharged V8. We can also see that a 10 speed automatic transmission is included. There were some rumors that the Raptor R would receive a dual clutch transmission to have lightning fast shifting, and this would allow it to compete with the Ram TRX's launch control feature. But it looks like they're going with the 10 speed. I, I don't think this is an issue. It was probably the right direction for Ford to go. Although the DCT in that GT500 is extremely quick at shifting, Ford's 10-speed auto has been dramatically improved over the years. There are some other notable features, including Recaro black leather seats, 
I think this is a must have. I've had Recaro's in a Mustang before. Really comfortable feel. Also mentions unique forged aluminum wheels and 37 inch all-terrain tires. It would seem that the Raptor R will be only available with 37 inch tires. No doubt this was done to one up the TRX's standard 35 inch tires. We've also learned through these leaks that new colors are coming for 23. Avalanche Gray and Azure Gray. We've actually seen Avalanche Gray before on the Raptors, but not Azure Gray, to my knowledge. The styling of the Raptor R is going to be slightly different than the base Raptor. For those that want a more subtle look, the Raptor R will look nearly identical to the base Raptor, except for a small R logo in the grille. It's also very likely that the Raptor R will have an available graphics package for the quarter panels at the back, celebrating the fact that it is a Raptor R. So why did it take so long for Ford to produce the Raptor R? And when will it go on sale? Well, supposedly, the reason it took so long is because Ford has been struggling to tune the engine for the truck. And chances are that Ford was not expecting the Ram TRX to be released. I guess that's up for debate, but based off what I showed you earlier, people demanded the V8 to return only to be dismissed by Ford for several ongoing years. It was only when the TRX arrived that Ford got serious and brought the V8 back. Anyway, back to the tuning situation. In the GT500, the supercharged 5.2 makes 760 horsepower. Rumors have surfaced that when tuned for the truck, the 5.2 struggled to get over 650 horsepower. Otherwise, issues started to occur. If this is true, it would mean that the Raptor R would come short of the TRX's 702 horsepower. Not a good look, especially when you're late to the game. But then again, maybe Ford was able to overcome these issues. Just realize that if this truck comes out and it's not as powerful or more powerful than the TRX, there's gonna be a lot of disappointed Ford fans. Ordering for the 2023 model year F-150 will open on July 18th. The 23 order banks open, people that want the Raptor R can place their order, and F-150 production starts in October of this year. Whether the Raptor starts right away or gets pushed is to be determined. Stay tuned for future videos. I'm Neo Otto, and I'll see you next time. Take care.